On the 21st of December 2017, Gladys Zambetti, a 51-year-old grandmother of five who lived under Chief Majiwa Zishavane, was about to retire to bed at around 8.30 p.m. Her grandchildren slept in the kitchen, just like in all rural areas. And at around 8.50 p.m., she heard cries of help and ran to the kitchen to see what was happening. She saw that there were two men that were trying to enter the kitchen where her grandchildren were and were throwing stones at the door trying to break in. She managed to enter the kitchen and used her body to barricade the door so that they would not be able to enter. One of the men managed to insert a machete through an opening and forced open the door but she was able to escape with her grandchildren to her neighbor's homestead after a few hours she decided to go back to her homestead the same night because she believed that the man had already stolen and left she went with her nine month old grandchild strapped to her back unfortunately the two robbers were still there they attacked her with a machete and dragged her to a nearby bush before ransacking her home the two men took turns to rape her before and after she died. So they raped her before they used a machete to kill her and then they raped her corpse after she died. This is according to the autopsy report with her grandchild strapped to her back. They then disposed of her body by throwing it in a seven meter disused mine shaft. The body was only discovered the next day at around 2 p.m. when a villager had cries of a baby from the disused mine shaft and retrieved the body of the deceased. The villagers discovered that the body had multiple bruises on the face and the neck and a deep cut on the left side of the forehead and she had semen on her private parts. The two men that had committed the crime were Give Momo Chumba, 25, and Tatendangwenya, 22, both from the same village. They were convicted of first degree murder with constructive intent and were sentenced to death. The Lawayo High Court judge said that it was shocking that Ngwenya and Mutumbo even raped the corpse there after throwing the body in a disused mine shaft with the baby still still strapped to the back of the body. Judge accused them of performing a heinous crime and committing a shocking crime. He said that the murder was brutal colors and committed on an innocent elderly woman out of greed and not need and decided to satisfy their sexual needs on an innocent woman. Because there was some premeditation on the crime, the judge said there was no other sentence that was fitting than that of death.